Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another Speed Farming 101 episode here on Borderlands 2. Today we are back and I'm going to be showing you another tip on how to speed farm another mini boss in the game. Today we're going to be looking at that girl right there, Madame Von Bartlesby over in Tundra Express. Going to be giving you a little bit of tips on how to farm her, where she is, what she drops, that kind of thing. And also a nice skip, which unfortunately today the skip is Rocket Jumping Gun Zerker only. Um, which will be, you know, a lot of these ones where you can only get shortcuts. Uh, Madame Von Bartlesby is over there. Uh, looks pretty close, but does take quite a while to get to because you have to actually run around the cliff and climb it to get to her. So I'll show you quickly right now the route you take. You come down here, hug the left hand side of the map and then run all the way around this island right here, up this ramp, uh, around here, and then pop out onto Von Bartlesby's little area, cliff top area right there. Uh, the skip I'm going to be showing you with the rocket jumping gun zerk is much quicker. You just come down here, hop onto this little ledge right here, and then grenade and rocket jump up to the top, which does cut quite a few seconds off of your farm. But as usual, I'll show you how to do this with normal characters as well. Uh, the lip is right there just for reference as well. So we'll start this off as I usually do with a normal run and just explain how a normal character uh, that's not a rocket jumping gun zerker can actually speed this up. And of course, as always, uh, the best example of this is a breakneck banshee uh, with um, specs into uh, fleet which increases movement speed when your shields are depleted. Put a rough rider shield on which obviously doesn't give you any shield at all and that will speed you up. Uh, but with any other normal character, you're just going to want to uh, spec into any skill points to increase movement speed at all. That will make things much, much quicker. So a normal character will have to do the run like this. And then when you get to the cliff, the unbox will probably be flying around. Just make sure you hit her and she should come down to land. Now, for the rocket jumping on Zerka, we was up there a minute ago. We've just come down to the area right here. So what we're going to do is hop up onto this cliff right here and then uh, just hop straight onto the top using a simple grenade rocket jump. Uh, obviously, you've seen many videos of me rocket jumping gun zerking. You're going to need your two battle booms, you're going to need your grenades unequipping, your grenade mods, so there's normal grenades, and then uh, you're going to pop them down just here. Uh, if you can get the uh, one for, um, no, not one for each of you, the uh, actual skill that gives you two grenades um, when you actually fire down, then that will uh, help as well. So, uh, yeah, anyway, as I'm going to show you in a minute, all we're going to do is pop a grenade down. Uh, we should send two out when guns zerking and then rocket jump with our twin batter booms and that should send us right up to the cliff. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now. Von Bartlesby has been activated so she's going to start shooting me. So run up to the cliff, jump up with your rockets, chuck a load of grenades down, make sure you just stand on top of one of them. I messed the first one up, they went off the edge of the cliff so just do it again. And then a nice simple hop up into Von Bartlesby's area. Now obviously because I've already spawned her, you won't see it right there. So we're going to do a rocket jumping gun circle run right now. This is the actual run you want to do over and over again until you get her legendary weapon, which is the Baby Maker. Very good throwable SMG. So start gun zerking pretty much straight away. You should have enough gun zerk to do this all in one go. Um, so head to this cliff, like I said, pop your um, twin batter booms down. That'll launch up onto this ledge. Drop your two grenades down against the wall. Stand on top of them, fire your rockets. And up we go. Now it might take a little bit of practice, but it's not the most complicated rocket jump procedure in the world, so you should master it pretty quickly. After that, it's a good idea to use two North Fleets, uh, as always, to speed kill her, but to kill her with whatever you want anyway, and eventually she will go down. Now, unfortunately, no baby maker on this one, but as always, I will show you a room where we actually get one. Uh, now, this actually does drop off the side of the cliff. Uh, you can see she's very close to the edge here, and when I actually kill her, she flies back a little bit. You can see the flash of orange right there. Uh, initially, it's actually behind me right now. Initially, I uh, missed this, so I think it's gone down here. I'm checking for it. I think it's actually gone through the water and glitched in, but it hasn't. I managed to spot it right there, as you can see. So I went a bit too far then. So I'm going to get myself out of this water. I'm getting warned anyway by the, uh, the death laser towers that's going to kill me. Uh, we've got this one in Oath Power 7, nice shock SMG as well, it's nice when you can get an element on these things. Uh, but as you can see, this is the Baby Maker, which is a TDO reload SMG, very very good weapon, especially in the first two playthroughs. You chuck this at an enemy and it's pretty much instant KO to uh, non-shielded enemies especially. 
uh, oath power rate is a bit more tricky to kill enemies with this thing but it's still pretty powerful nonetheless but it is an absolute ammo eater uh, so there you go guys another episode of speed farming 101 that was a nice short one today that was speed farming madame von bottlesby in tundra express for the legendary baby maker smg thank you guys for watching really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one